We're at the Branch Warren Classic right now. How are you guys involved with this expo today? Uh, we're here with Gasp and Better Bodies. Uh, we came with Destination Dallas, which is where we train at and I now work at as a personal trainer. Um, so we're here doing some giveaways. If you come like do photos and stuff, uh, we're giving some like beanies and wrist straps and just kind of working with the community, trying to get people to come into the gym and train over in Allen, just north of Dallas. So it's been a, it's been a fun day. When Olivia won the national show a few weeks ago, were you there? I was there. I was actually <laughs> filming it live on Instagram, and uh, I think when she won, I jumped up screaming and got super lightheaded and had to, had to sit down for a good 20 minutes. <laughs> but um, no, I was. I go to all her shows. I'm the stage husband, yes. so I get all the anxiety. She's cool, calm, and collective, and I'm shaking, getting ready to be sick, and like waiting for her to get on stage, and she gets on there, kills it. Um, but yeah, I was definitely there. I got to see the pre-judging and the finals, the announcements, and it was just an amazing experience to see her on stage. Yeah, he's like the equivalent of like the cheer squad mom. Like literally right after I get off stage, I text him because all, all the restaurants are closing like right as the show was ending. So I was like, okay, did you go get the food? He's like, I'm on it. I've got it in the cooler. This is getting delivered <laughs> at this time. Like I've got your food set up in the room. Like there's an air fryer in the room. Like the sweet potato fries are still hot. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're such like a cheer squad mom. But I could not have done any of it without him. And you really do have to have a support system in some sort of way, especially if you're like a diva, <laughs> which I guess I am. She's not that bad, but I prefer stage husband, not cheer squad. Um, but no, she actually, through her prep, she was so easy to deal with. And I was expecting her to be, I was expecting her to be really difficult, really emotional. And she handled it like a champ, to be honest. Yeah, I think he's just very patient. <laughs> I'm just going to say that, but you do have to check yourself. And if you're, if you're married or with someone like checking in with them, like, Hey, I know I'm being emotional right now. I know I'm being a little bit more reactive and just making sure that you're like attending to those emotional things with people because you're not functioning optimally as a person and likely not emotionally either. So just getting back into reality and not getting too wrapped up in your own like personal world that is prep, it's important. You need things to pull you back out of that. It's beautiful. You, you guys recently just moved to Texas. Uh Tell us about the Metroplex. Um, yeah. We moved from Indiana in March because I accepted a new job. And we immediately fell in love with Dallas. We found Destination, which is our home gym, and now again where she works out of. And everything just clicked. We didn't know if we were going to like Dallas. We didn't know if we were going to fit in. And it just was a natural fit. We found a gym family. We found friends. Um, we just found a really good community. Plus, there's so much to do in Dallas. You could never get bored here. I mean. Yeah, it's just like when you surround yourself by people with similar goals, even if you're very goal-oriented and self-motivated, it's just different. I mean, just because there's going to be moments when you doubt yourself and to have people around you who are pursuing the same things and can validate you both through their own actions, just seeing them pursue their goals and then actually say, I see this potential in you keep going like that is so invaluable and that will completely shift the way you train or any other passion you have to surround yourself in that kind of environment it just changes your world it's perfect T tell us someone who's never met your husband before what's he like he's like i'm not just saying this because he's standing right here he's like a different breed of human just super calm like very comfortable with himself very like different than most people in this like environment who like question themselves a lot. He's just like super solid. He's the anchor of every group we're in, definitely in the marriage. So that's nice to have. And a major goofball. He is a major goofball. You gotta put that in there. I like to have fun. I like to be goofy. Yeah. Um, took a long time for me to be comfortable with who I am, but I woke up one day and I was like, I'm gonna be what I wanna be. And it's paid off learn that you know when you're yourself people tend to like you more than you trying to be them or trying to be someone else yeah. so I just kind of took on my own identity and it worked out well for me yeah and this is a sport where you are naturally very self-critical and you're being criticized by other people as well like for your body you've worked hard and you're still getting negative feedback sometimes but like he has taught me a lot about having like a solid identity in yourself 
and how important that can be. And not that you say that you won't take the feedback, but that you are comfortable enough with who you are that you can take the feedback and be objective with it and handle it well. Last question and tell us uh, somebody who's never met Olivia before or what's she like? She is probably the hardest working person I've ever met in my life, almost to a fault. Um, she does not skip out on like anything. She's If she has something she wants to get done, it's gonna happen, and it's gonna happen at 110%. She's super passionate, and she has the biggest heart I've ever met. Like, she'll give the shirt off her back to anybody. So you combine that with like a big heart with hard working, and you just get this incredible human. <laughs> but she's pretty awesome. And she's also goofy herself, too, yes. if she ever shows it. Yes, I am. Well, mine just happens in more like, you do it more intentionally. I just accidentally do goofy things. She's king of the dad jokes and yes. puns. Yes. I'll save those for next time. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. I think, Olivia, we'll be seeing you in the future on the Olympia stage. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you for that. I hope so. That's the goal one day. She'll be but... there. She'll, she's going to be there.